Bacon here. I'm super excited. Welcome back to Red Wine and Wit. I'm Jody Cordell, and today I'm super excited. Um, we are about to get into some fun wine today. Over here, you can see it's La Caz Grand Reserva, and I've got my bottle right here. Do, do, do. Isn't it lovely? Look at that. This is a, a bottle of wine from um, Chile. So uh, sometimes I'm not the biggest fan of Chilean wines. So this ought to be very exciting to see. So, so far, I've got my, um, my sampling amount right here in my glass, just chilling for just a few minutes. Um, and I just opened it like 15 minutes ago. So I just wanted to give it a little bit of time to uh, breathe a little bit and then we'll, we'll get into it. While we're waiting for that, um, I wanted to pull up the information um, about the wine from the Naked Wines website. So let's see what it says. It says this rich and ritzy reserve Cabernet is um, pure Andean. Uh, Jean Pascal's world class. Sorry, it's kind of small on the screen while I'm reading it to you. I don't even know why I do it that way. I should just make it full screen so you guys can see it um, with me. Okay, so Jean-Pascal's world-class cab from the Andes is elegant, juicy, and drenched in deep, dark berry flavors, delicately layered with a light touch of oaky spice, and all wrapped up in a fine, full mouthfeel and long, lingering finish. Starting with flawless fruit from 30-year-old vineyards, growing in pristine conditions, Jean-Pascal took this perfectly ripened Chilean Cabernet and blended it with just a touch of Chile's other hallmark varietal, Carmenere for a refined red that's simply unforgettable. So I am excited about this. It sounds really, really interesting. So again, this is another one from the Naked Wines box that I had. So I've been kind of going through them, you know, piecemeal a little at a time just to kind of see, um, you know, how the wines are through the Naked Wines, uh, you know, vineyards. And so far, so good. So uh, first off, you'll notice I am not outside this week, Ugh, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One, the last time I did one of these, uh, it was so noisy out there because apparently 4 o'clock in the afternoon um, here in Florida is quitting time for all the construction workers, and they were all driving behind my house on the road behind my back fence, and it was just ridiculous. So, no more of that. Oh, and by the way... Uh, it's also freaking cold here today. So it was in the 30s this morning when I got up and got started with my day. Woo, it's cold for, for the South. So uh, winter has finally arrived here in the southern part of the country. So, all right, you guys, let's just go ahead and get into this. So what I'm doing right now, I'm going to see if I can tilt this down and show you. I am going to... I'm aerating the wine. So I'm adding air by swirling it around and I'm opening up all of the aromas in the glass. That's why I really like these big glasses like this because it makes it really easy to do this without spilling anything. So, and that's how I aerate my wine before I taste it. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a smell. Let's see if we can smell some fun things in this wine. Oh, this is another one that smells jammy. When I say it smells jammy, I'm, I mean it literally smells like grape jam. So um, I get that you know, that really strong grapey scent in there, and I can smell the, uh, the spice, and I can smell... That's the thing about the Chilean wines. It seems to be pretty consistent with all the Chilean wines is that spice flavor that seems to be kind of unique to Chile. So that's kind of a cool thing if you're into that. Um, but I have had some before that uh, the spice itself kind of overpowered the fruit to me. And I kind of like it a little bit mm, more balanced than that. So, and I think that's like whenever you get one of the Syrahs or um, like their Merlots. So anyways, so got a big whiff in my throat. Hmm. Okay. So I can't really pinpoint any other 
um, any other flavors in there. But that's that's not to say that it's not in there. It just means that my nose can't pick it up. So let's just go ahead and give it a taste. Uh, you can see the color there. Look at that. It's deep, rich in color. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way so it's not impeding. Look at that. It's very dark and rich and it looks very luscious. So I'm excited to see what this uh, what this tastes like going down and what it feels like inside my mouth. So let's go ahead and give it a whirl. Interesting. Oh, that's a real velvety smooth mouthfeel, by the way. That is very nice. That's a great, ooh, yeah, I can feel that. Oh, it's warming me up going down. I love it, I love it. So yeah, I can definitely taste the oak um, and the spice. And um, yeah, that's a really, really nice Cabernet. Yeah, mm, yeah, I can drink that. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's not too fruity and it's not it's not sweet, but it's not too dry either. So it's got a nice balance to it. I feel like um, there's a lot of depth in those flavors. I wish I could pinpoint them better. I'm gonna have to get better at 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 uh, tasting the different flavors that are in the wine. I'm not very good at that, but I mean, here's the here's the good good thing about that though. You don't have to be good at that stuff in order to like and appreciate the wines, right? So wine, when you find one that you like that tastes good to you, just drink it and enjoy it if you want to. My whole mission with um, with these tastings and with this blog is to explore all the things I don't know about wine. I already know I like it. I already know how much I really love it. And it's just a fun thing to get into and explore. So my whole thing is I want to learn all the other things and make it simple for everyone else that wants to learn. So, but what I've learned so far from all the different people that I have talked to that are you know, experts in wine is that, dude, there's no right or wrong way to appreciate and enjoy wine. So everything that you hear from all these connoisseurs, there's, it's subjective. It's their opinion, their opinion. And yeah, their opinion may be, you know, held in higher regard, but here's the thing. It's still just a, just one person's opinion and one person's tastes. So, and everyone's tastes are different, which is why it's amazing that, you can go out there and find any kind of wine that you like. And there's millions of different ones out there. There's so, and they're coming up with new ones all the time. And there's new wineries opening up all the time. And you can explore different regions of the world and, you know, just drinking wine. So I, I love, I love that about wine. And so that's, that's just the thing. So, I mean, my whole philosophy is you like what you like and that's just it. And nobody's going to tell you that you're wrong because you're not, it's all good. So that's, um, that's the whole thing with, um, my rant for, for getting in the, the whole wine thing. So, but, um, anyway, this one, let's see here. And, and I'm probably butchering the name of this thing. Jean Pascal Lacaz Grand Reserva. Cabernet Sauvignon 2018. So must have been a good year. It smells like the ground must have been really good. Who knows? I don't really know. But uh, this is a really good wine. Valley Central. So in, uh, in Chile. So that just shows me that typically I'm not a real big fan of Chilean wines. But this one, this one I can do. This one I can definitely do. This one's quite tasty. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's some good stuff, y'all. Mm -mm. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So, okay. This is a live tasting. I did not uh, do this last week because it was Thanksgiving week and I was swamped and um, just could not sit down and do this. But I am back this week and I intend to do this um, every Tuesday. So if you are available to jump on live. I will answer live questions uh, during the tasting. And I would love to hear questions from you. If you have questions and you've, and you've missed the live and you want to just ask me questions, 
you can go into the comments and just drop a comment down underneath this video and uh, let me know what your question is and maybe I'll answer it next week and that would be awesome. So let me know what kind of things you are interested most in learning about wine because I'm, I'm ready to go and learn some cool things and explore and I'm going to be doing that regardless. So if you have something specific that you'd like to know, I want to help you find out. So uh, I'm going to be doing all that. And um, oh, also this uh, video, this, this channel, Red Wine and Wit has a blog and you can go to redwineandwit.com and um, go check out the rest of the blog. It's good. It's got blog posts and it also has the video links there too. So if you like this content, be sure to hit subscribe right down there, right down there. <laughs> There'll be a little uh, link down there for you to hit the um, subscribe button. So be sure to do that and um, be here every Tuesday um, for these live wine tastings. Uh, I, I think this is a real fun way to just kind of explore and, um, ex you know, just experience different parts of the world through wine. And um, I tend to like red wine more than all the others. However, that doesn't mean that I don't drink them. So if there's one in particular that you want to have me like, you know, taste on this um, channel on my video, just let me know because I will definitely do that. I actually had some fabulous sparkling wines over the Thanksgiving holiday. I bought some Prosecco and um, a barefoot uh, sparkling, uh, no, it was a Brut Rosé. And it was quite fabulous, I have to say, fabulous. I do like some of the barefoot wines. They're some like everyday go-to wines for me. Um, but I was really surprised at how uh, how good the uh, Brut Rosé was. And uh, I got the uh, Prosecco, um, and it was, it was really good. I forget which one it was. Oops. <laughs> And in fact, I probably should have done a video, uh, a Thanksgiving one to uh, share what we were having over our Thanksgiving uh, feast. So, but um, lessons learned, maybe I'll do that at Christmas time because I will probably have a variety of wines to do at Christmas time. So that ought to be fun. Um, anyways, so that's going to wrap it up for me today here on Red Wine and Wit and my fabulous La Caz, uh Grand Reserve uh, Grand Reserva uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. This is a fabulous wine. I'm really digging it. Mm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go drink some more of that. That's just freaking good. So, mm -mm, yummy. All right, that's it for me today. I will see you guys next week. And until then, go out there and drink wine and like what you like. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>